Living in one of the most developed cities in the world can sometimes be overwhelming. Navigating peak time traffic, the long commute to and fro, bustling malls and crowded streets, and endless staring at computer screens for work. Tired of this usual rut race, I just wanted to go somewhere different. The seventh day national holiday in China presented an opportunity for me to make it out there to a place that I'd always wanted to travel to, Huangshan Mountains. So I booked hotels and packed up ready for a four day trip. The helmet was the last thing to be strapped on my head and then it was time to go. to make a one-day stopover in Huzhou city which was a three and a half hour ride from Shanghai and about 148 kilometers but I didn't want to rush it according to the GPS duration as I wanted to enjoy all the beautiful scenery along the way it wasn't long before I met some riders who were also going in my direction it was a beautiful bright sunny day and the temperature outside was about 23 degrees celsius very conducive for riding a motorcycle and going on such a long trip i left home at 8 45 it's 909 on the clock on the motorcycle and i'm still within shanghai i'm just taking it easy riding now in the outskirts of Shanghai where you have some farmhouses some isolated sort of living communities and lots of rice farms if you look over there that's a rice farm right there so there are a lot of rice farms are along this this stretch around this time of the year they're getting ready to harvest the rice because it's gradually turning brown with the coming in of autumn so yeah let's keep going and just enjoy the scenery there's still a little bit of traffic so i'm taking it easy but once i hit the outskirts where traffic is less i'm gonna try to ride a bit faster looking at the scenery on my left and right it was obvious to me that I'd made a good decision to leave the city during this holiday. It was starting to get really beautiful and I was getting further and further away from brick and mortar. I'm just leaving Shanghai now I'm actually at the sort of border between Shanghai and Zhejiang province so after crossing this police checkpoint I am in Zhejiang province so the province next to Shanghai we're making headway another biker couple in front of me I'm sure I'm gonna meet a lot of riders on the road today, fingers crossed. It's a long holiday, so my guess is a lot of people are going to be traveling out on their motorcycles as well. After a while of riding, I entered the first town that I was passing through. 
and this was on the G road here in China so the roads that are named G usually go through towns and then you have the highways but motorcycles are not really allowed on the highways by law they are allowed but when you get there the attendants will allow you so you go through towns like this towns and cities to get to your destination this is one important thing to notice about riding a motorcycle in china it's usually very hard to find a place that is really really outskirts you have to go like thousands of miles away to find a place that is like really b roads and just nothingness because the population is large and there are many many small towns and cities all over the country motorcycles are by law kind of allowed to go on the toll roads like the highways but when you get to the tolls you are actually really not allowed and um, there have been scuffles between motorcycle riders and uh, toll gate attendants uh, videos on the internet but usually the motorcyclists end up winning and they are allowed to but generally you are not allowed and so you have to go through these small small towns and cities on a on a motorcycle that makes the journey a little bit slow and sometimes a little bit boring but yeah that's what we have we have to make the best out of it so i'm just passing through another town here uh, i don't know what it's called but yeah you can see what a typical small town or city in china looks like just gonna stop over here to get some gas I have three bars out of six but just for security sake I want to refill so that I don't have to stop to refill anytime soon um, so let me find 90 92 <laughs> then I will get some snack in there as well Also went through some small towns and farming villages and farmhouses along the way. I've just spotted a temple here, what looks like a temple. I want to go in there and see if I'll be allowed to visit. It's a place of prayer, but I might just be allowed to visit. So let's go try and see if we'll be allowed to do so.
I've just stopped by a place which I'm guessing is a temple. I'm just going to walk in there and see if I can have access and show you what the temple looks like. Let's go. So at the entrance of the temple, they have this notice board and then a very nice garden, small mini garden here. And they have these sort of traditional Chinese pots. I don't know what they stand for, but yeah, the, the entrance looks very, very elegant. These are very common here in China and these sort of temples are very synonymous with China. As I went through the gates of the temple, I was lucky to spot a monk or a priest, I don't know what to call him, sitting in the corner in an office and I was able to talk to him to get some information about the temple. You are right, Ma? we had quite a lengthy conversation about where I was from, where I was going to, and how I felt about living in China. And he explained a few things about the village where I was and some information about the temple and what his duties there were. It was a really interesting conversation. And then he offered me tea and he took me around on a tour of the temple. Overall, it was a really pleasant conversation I had with this monk. And his Chinese was very clear, so I could understand him perfectly. So he's just taking me on a tour. He's asking me not to take photos of the the goats, the statue. Ah, the statue of the goats. I can't take photos or videos of. So you might want to take out online, but those are. Ah. Mm. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. He's gonna show us the drumming skills. After a quick walk around of the temple court, we took some photos and I said goodbye to him and went on my journey. Hello, Zola, thank you. Bye bye. Very, very nice monk. I'm not sure if he's a monk or a priest of the temple, but he received me nicely, gave me some tea. The hospitality of Chinese people and most especially religious people is <laughs> still waving. Yeah, I really enjoyed my visit there. 
and it was a really nice mall um, it was a really nice temple to look at unfortunately unfortunately i couldn't take videos of the the gods the statues of the gods out of respect i hope you found something interesting in that short interaction with the monk and the short visit of the temple now let's continue our journey I'm going to branch off and take a look at this beautiful small town here kind of like an isolated community but it looks like it's really well planned out not different from any residential communities you will have in like Shanghai looks really nice nicely paved roads very very clean for such a small place I'm actually very impressed and it just goes all the way Kind of like a high street that you will find in any any big city yeah I'm impressed it's a very very nice town let's just walk around drive around and explore it a little bit let's go all the way to the end yeah it's I'm impressed a really nice town it will be an interesting place to to live Kind of like a factory, some kind of fabric factory right there. And we just go over there to uh, the bridge. if I can go over the bridge let's see so let's just stop here and explore the river besides exploring the river the stop also gave me the opportunity to stretch my legs after riding the motorcycle for quite a few hours. It's a pretty wide river and these these houses, these residential homes are just just on the banks of the river and if you look in the distance uh, there is a some kind of a pontoon or a boat and usually in China these ones are used to transport like sand, construction materials and all that and they've got this really nice bridge here I think the bridge just connects to the other side of the of the town let's see if we can translate the name of this bridge or any information that is showing here so this WeChat has this translation function let's see if we can recognize and translate so it translates as town west foot bridge nothing really historic about it but wow look at the how wide the river is it's a very very wide river there's another bridge over there and there's another one over there to give easy access to the to different parts of the town so that's really cool Many villages out here. Beautiful artwork on this wall. Kind of like a river environment with some houses on the banks and boats on the river. Very nice painting. This looks like a fish farm. One on this side and one on the other side. Let's go explore what a small Chinese village looks like. Yeah, you can see the, the, the houses look very, very old. Maybe some of these houses are from centuries, hundreds of years ago. Ah, 
places like this if you are not careful you'll be driving into someone's you'll be driving into someone's living room but this is how traditional Chinese homes look like the ground floor is usually a living space and upstairs they have sleeping area so yeah it's a typical Chinese village Although it's a small, small village, the kind of cars that are parked here are impressive. Got VWs, Audis and Toyotas. After riding for about 3 hours, it was really time for a real break to have the chance to stretch my legs further and to have some snacks and some water just to replenish my lost energy so I could go on my journey. Let's explore this farming village. F small farm implements. They're living right close to the river. Someone is rearing ducks here and goats over there using the river water for irrigation mostly rice fields on both left and right After about 40 minutes of rest and refreshment, it was about time to continue my journey. Look at a beautiful view of the mountains. Isn't this amazing? Very awe inspiring. After a combined five hours of riding and stopping, I was entering Hujo City, my destination for the first leg of this trip. Sweet At this point, I was already in Hujo city and I was just navigating on the GPS to find my hotel, which according to the GPS was just about a kilometer from where I was at the moment. I'm now in Hujo and I'm very, very close to the hotel that I'm staying at for the night. On the first leg of this trip, according to the map, is just up the road 378 meters on the left. 
so I just got a look must be somewhere here must be really close let me use this red light to look around looks like I might have to U-turn and could it be this one? Or right, let me check. Yeah. Air Hotel. Yeah, that's it. Bon arrivé, as the French would say. I was finally at my hotel. Just arrived in Hojo and I've just checked into my hotel room before I continue on my trip to Huangshan tomorrow I'm making a stop over in Hojo and in Hojo is just gonna be one night so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of my hotel room so you can see where I'm gonna stay for the night so I'm gonna start from the bed so it's a double bed king size I'm gonna be alone here but I got a king size bed and look at this window it gives you so much light just for one person even if you're a couple it is still a very very large room you get a bedside cupboards and you got a nice sitting area and a table here where you can do some work get a tv and you got a closet an open closet here where i've just dumped all my gear big enough for all your clothes and shoes and then this is the door area and here we have this open concept sink which is good if you're just a couple or a single person doesn't need to be enclosed and if we just go into the bathroom so the bathroom looks like so also equally spacious very very spacious and then the shower area is also quite big so yeah i like it for the price I think it's it's okay it's worth it I'm not too tired from the trip but I just need to relax because I've been riding for like five six hours and after relaxing for a while I'll just download some of the videos that I've made whilst on the way uh, onto my computer so I can have more disk space on my SD card for the ride tomorrow all right so I'll see you again soon